Boom shakalaka, $2.3 billion of Bitcoin options expire tomorrow. Household net worth contracting for only the fourth time in history. Is this just whales accumulating or are things about to get a lot worse? Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including a lot of options expiring tomorrow, whales accumulating, and the overall, is this good or bad? This one chart spells it all out for you. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Now today, fear and greed, 49, still dead center, pretty much for the past week. It's been sitting right there. The overall market today going up just a touch. Right now, Bitcoin at 26,443. Ethereum at 1810, BNB at 304, XRP 46 cents, Cardano 35 cents, Dogecoin 7 cents, Polygon 89 cents, and Solana $19.22. And the top coins today, based on artificial intelligence like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto, would be ARPA over BitsyCoin, TomoChade, and Render. And you can check out Token Metrics for yourself. There's a free link down in the description. Now, Bitcoin today. It has fallen underneath the 100-day moving averages green line right here. It seems to be new resistance for Bitcoin. We could be headed down towards lower levels. We do see converging support right at this $25,000 level right down here. This has been previous support and resistance for Bitcoin and also long-term trend support. So we may be heading down to that level, at least temporarily. Although, if we take a look, this is the most shocking chart I think hasn't been seen in long ever the last three times this happened markets declined significantly what that is well when household net worths went under zero went negative it's contracting for the fourth time ever that means the fourth time ever people's value is worth less than it's ever been before and it's worthwhile to note this has only happened since 2000 so if you've been alive since 2000 i mean it's pretty much the worst of times financially for the past 20 some years well it's happening once again has triggered recessions previously could trigger a recession again this time if that's not bad enough news for you how about this 2.3 billion dollars of bitcoin options expiring tomorrow options expiry was much larger at the end of q1 over three billion dollars june is looking a lot more bearish with max pain roughly $24,000. So could be headed down towards a $24,000 Bitcoin, roughly in the range we were talking about here. As a matter of fact, $24,000 is the projected price from this head and shoulders right here. Also, there is a CME gap to fill at $24,000. So that could nail everything with that $24,000 price before Bitcoin takes off. It could just be headed down to levels everyone's expected, where how about $24,000? If we take a look, when we had support on this level and then a breakdown below that level, same thing once again, breakdown to that level would be roughly the $24,000, $25,000 level. So that could be the levels that we were looking at headed towards. It is quite shocking right now how Bitcoin is still holding above three major lines, the 200 weekly MA, the 21 weekly EMA, and the middle line Gaussian channel. All of these could potentially form a big support for Bitcoin, could wick down below there, touch 24, and then take off before it goes anywhere else. Right now, if we take a look, zooming out, this is the price action 140 days after a breakthrough of the realized price, which is this yellow line right here. So Bitcoin breaks through the realized price 140 days after. If we take a look, Bitcoin is actually performing well and is expected for this stage of the cycle. A clear Bitcoin breakout above the realized price. 140 days after, we can see a clear price above this level. Same thing happened right now. Bitcoin is still sitting nicely above the realized price. As a matter of fact, what this could be is whale accumulation. Could you believe it? The whales once again manipulating the markets so that they can buy cheaper Bitcoin. Would you believe it? I would. It's happened enough times already. Well, very similar to what happened in 2015 right back here. The price action indicates Bitcoin is possibly at the beginning of a bull run. So we had tops up here, double bottom down here, and then price took off. So we had tops right here, double bottom right here, and then potentially price could take off for Bitcoin. We have evidence that whales are accumulating. Here's that bottom one, and here is the bottom two of whale accumulation. Nobody else is buying right now. Everybody else is scared because the price is going down to $10,000, right? 
but whales know something that we don't know. They're buying a lot of Bitcoin at the moment. Right now, the green light is on for Bitcoin. A three-day chart showing a possible rebound from a falling wedge paired with an oversold stochastic RSI. This has happened multiple times on a three-day chart. We have falling wedge, oversold stock, stock RSI, and each time it has led to a massive rally in Bitcoin's price. If we zoom out on that chart to a longer chart, chart this is a one-week chart, we can see the same thing. When Bitcoin tags the EMA 50 and the stock RSI is oversold, each of these conditions led for a massive Bitcoin rally. We have this condition once again, potentially massive Bitcoin rally, significant move for Bitcoin. So that brings us to the line in the sand, bulls versus bears. This is exactly where we are right now. The weekly RSI has perfectly retested the absolute bottom bull market support down from 56 to 54 RSI. You can see this right down here on the bottom. Bullish supports unite. We have the 200-day moving average. We have the 111-day moving average with the weekly RSI. All of this, if Bitcoin can hold this RSI level like it did all the way up the parabolic rally in 2015 to 2017, like it did all the way up the rally from 2020 to 2021, well, then we could be headed towards a brand new bull market. And that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.